Hello everybody, my name's Stupid Ninja, and today I have for you Lego Mini Megatron. Now this guy was requested by the poll, so I decided to do him. It was pretty close between Ratchet and Megatron, and uh, I just chose Megatron. So, here he is. Um, there are some colors that I, I didn't really have, like for the legs here, or for the handle. It's all gray when it should be black, but I didn't have any black, so I just had to use gray. Uh, these white pieces, I didn't have any gray for that either. Uh, but other than that, I think he looks pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, yeah, here's his gun mode. It's, it's pretty nice size. Here is Optimus. Here's comparison with Optimus. So yeah, he's, he's way bigger than Optimus, which I find funny. And here's comparison with another Decepticon, Barricade, so he's way bigger than the micro size. But I still think he scales well with Optimus in robot mode, so there's that. Let's get into his transformation. So what you first want to do is come to the back, pull this up. By the way, this is not parts forming. This is optional piece. You do not need this. It, it basically does nothing except make the gun mode you know, make this gap fill in. Usually it's like this, and you just view it from this side, and it looks perfectly fine. But, yeah. This is optional. You do not need to build this, so it's not really parts forming in any respect. Anyway, uh, now you'll take off the scope. That just pops off. Like that. So there's the scope. Set that aside. And now you'll want to kind of separate the arms a little and twist the body. This is kind of cool how I did this. But you'll just turn the body and it's sort of like a ratchet joint right there. And uh, the mechanism is kind of cool. As you see right here there's two jumper plates and then two slopes and the plates just go over the slope and one of them pops up and then goes back down. And then you do it again and it pops up and goes back down. So it's kind of cool how it works. It you utilizes one of LEGO's greatest features being able to be built upon. Anyway, uh, now, whoops, now you'll want to take this piece, which that'll swing up. So just swing that up and turn it like that. Kind of difficult because he's a lot bigger than all my other minis. Anyway, now you'll just kind of pop this out, swing that all the way to the other side, and that will become one of his arms. Then you'll take this piece, which I didn't have a colored piece for, so I just used one of these, which is kind of funny. Anyway, take that head, flip it over, and then this is where this comes in. You just fold this down, and it becomes the barrel on his back. I was proud of that. Happy I didn't have to do any parts forming there. Anyway, take this slope on his head, spin it forward, make it look a lot like Megatron. Um, now you want to split the legs. They connect right here at the bottom. So let's split those. Sometimes they do this, so I just like to put it back here. Split the legs, fold them in, and then fold them forward. And finally, pop his arms out a little, swing them down. And there you have Megatron in his robot mood. I think he looks pretty good. You just take this cannon. Place it on his arm. And uh, as a disclaimer, there's nowhere for this to go. So if you're thinking about that, well, sorry. I think this guy came out very well. Much better than my previous Megatron, which is not on the channel because how bad he was. So there's that. But I do like this guy. I, I very much enjoyed building him. I enjoyed transforming him. I, I just, I, I like this guy. And uh, setting him aside. Here is how Megatron scales with Prime in his robot mode. I don't think this is a bad scaling. Prime could be just a bit bigger or Megatron a bit smaller. But in all, I think this is uh, I think this is fine. How they scale? Megatron is just a lot thicker than Prime. I bet you guys can guess how he scales with Barricade. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> he looks like a minicon. Which originally Barricade was a minicon. Anyway, there's that. And now, let's get into how to build this guy. So here are all the pieces for his legs. So to start off, you want to take your uh, 
two by three, and then a, whoops, then a one by two. Just place that on top of each other. Then you'll take a hinge piece and just place that there, and then a one by four in black. This requires a lot of hinge pieces, by the way. This build. Anyway, then a one by two in black, then another one by four in black, and then a one by four plate in black, and that just goes all like that. So it should do. It should look like this when it's done. So it's pretty simple. You can set that aside. Now you'll take another hinge and one of these little grill pieces. Just place it there, and then a one by two. Bam. And now just build down the leg with one by two bricks. You want to take one of these, just plug that on the inside, so it'll be facing away from it and it'll hinge this way. You'll take this piece, place it there, a one by one, another brick, and finally your last hinge which should look like this. You should have this when you're all complete. To be nice and tight. Then you'll take your little waist piece, place it there with a little gap. So, you know, you, you see how that is. And this is what it should do when you're done. So yeah, there you have that. Then you'll just mirror that for the other leg and just pop that on right there. Snap those together, tighten everything, everything nice and tight. And then you can take your swivel piece, place it there. Then your cheese slopes will go this way. They have to be facing this way, like that. And then these pieces you can just put on, like that. And there you go. You now have built your very own Megatron handle. And now moving on to the torso. Here are the pieces you'll be needing to build his torso. You can just look at those. I only deconstructed one arm because I wanted to only build one arm. Anyway, we'll start with the base, which consists of one of these a 1x4 with a little 1x2 plate. Just place that there. Then take a 2x2 two two on a 1x4. And do that. And then take a 2x2 two two with studs, a 1x4 and a 1x2. Like that. So if, here you go. And you'll have this, this little thing going on. Anyway, take another hinge piece because I love my hinge pieces. Place it right there. Then you'll take a brick with a hole, one by one. It'll go right there. And then just a regular one by one plate. Just swing that around. And there you go. Uh, and now for the head, you'll just take a little clip piece like that. Then one of these special pieces with studs on both sides. Then a stud on top, of course. And just turn that. Put that there. Angle that down. And there you have that part. Now we'll work on this part. A 1x4. Two of these little pieces with, you know, the stud on the side. Just a regular 1x1 one one with nothing on it. And then a one by one brick with a hole on the other side. So you have this. And that'll go right here. Work on, let's see, work on the other other part of the front, I guess. Which is a one by four. With a one by two on top of that. Little stud. And then this little contraption. Which is a cheese slope. A little clip piece little claw hand thing. Just put that there. 
that just goes on one side right like that. There you have that. Uh, and then you just place this one by four right there. Then take another one of these pieces. Looks just like that. Place it right there. And angle it in. And set that aside. Take a one by six gray flat plate. One by four. And then one of these little pieces. Uh, for the uh, iron sights. I don't really know what this is called though. Hope stuff slide. Anyway. This goes like this. Just pretty simple. Self-explanatory. So put that there. And that will go right here. And then you'll take a one or two by two. And that will just clip on right there. Just like that. And now work on the arms. So you take a hinge, make sure it hinges this way. Uh, put two one by twos on the bottom of each side so that it looks like this. Then a brick with a hole. You can just turn that that way. Uh, one of these little Technic pieces. One of these things. Another one of the studs, or the bricks with the thing on the side. <laughs> I can't think today. Um, one by two brick. A little cheese slope on top. Just go like that. Then another hinge with a grate piece on the top of that. And you'll have this. Then that will plug in right there, just like that. And this stud should rest between the uh, jumper plate and the little gray piece right there. This can, this gray piece on the side of his head can be studded and it will have enough clearance. Take your other arm, just mirror the process of the first arm. Just put it all together like that and you're pretty much done. Now you're going to take his legs and simply connect him right there. There's two spaces. You got the two jumper plates. Put them right there. You should have a brick's length left. And there you have Megatron. Now to make his accessories, it's pretty simple. You just need one of these cone pieces for the scope. And then, well, pretty sure you can think for yourself on how to build this. You just got the one by one brick with a hole on top of a plate, on top of a two, uh, one by, a two by three. So yeah, then you got the other brick with a hole that just goes right in there. And then this just clips on right here, as I showed in the transformation. And that looks nice. Then you have your extra piece, which simply uses uh, this piece, brick with, a, with brick with two holes, and a couple of those little blue pieces, blue Technic pieces, a 2x2, two 2x3, by two, two by and then some plates on the top to make it all flat and smooth. And then that clips right into that stud right there. You just slide that in, clip it down, and there you have Megatron in display in his gun mode. And I think he looks pretty good. So if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, please leave a like and comment. Uh, comment anything else you want me to make. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.